Hey guys, I'm Jameson with RogueEngineer.com and today I want to show off my new modern chicken coop. But first, let's rewind and I'll show you how I built it. So we've got our lumber and it's time to start cutting down the boards and assembling the sides. Since we're going to be painting the coop, the majority of the lumber is going to be untreated except for the boards that come into contact with the ground. Those will be treated. With the sides finished, it's time to assemble the entire frame of the chicken coop. Okay, so with the frame assembled, we're gonna go ahead and put together the nesting boxes, which are made out of OSB. And then I'm gonna make a, um, a simple wall that's gonna cover up those nesting boxes and cut some holes to be able to uh, allow the chickens to get into the nesting boxes. All right, with the nesting boxes built and installed as well as that front face, now we're gonna build the other side of the coop and install that. With the other side of the wall installed in the chicken coop, now I've gone ahead and installed the, the, um, the roost as well as these uh, supports for the floor. We're gonna cut some OSB, um, install that in the floor, and then we're gonna cut some more OSB uh, for, to sheath this exterior wall. With that done, now I'm gonna go ahead and install the rafters, which are just gonna be two by twos, and then uh, we'll lay OSB over top of that and run the drip edge around the edges. Now we're gonna go ahead and uncoil the half inch hardware cloth and cover all of the, um, the areas of the run. Okay, so now we've got all the, uh, the hardware cloth on, on the run, and now it's time to side this, uh, the coop. But before I actually side it, I decided to go with a, a hardy board siding 
and that was just so that we could cover up all of these vertical pieces as well as uh, just the entire thing to just make it look like one single unit. Um, however, in order to do that, if you didn't want to do it and you just wanted to side the coupe, you could put this hardware mesh on the inside of the run and uh, that would kind of help that disappear. But <clears throat> in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the doors first so then I can just side everything at one time. So for the entry door as well as the coupe door, anything that's hanging, uh, I'm going to use these RTA connector brackets from Simpson Strong Tie, and that's just going to make sure that all the right angles stay true and the doors don't sag over time. Okay, so now that we've got all the doors installed, it's time for siding, but before I can actually start hanging the hardy board, um, I wanted to go ahead and cap these corners so then I can butt my hardy bar board right up to it. Um, in order to do that, what I've done here is I've just taken a one by four and ripped it down. Um, I actually did two inches and then one and a quarter on the side so that this would, um, so that this would butt up perfectly and look like it's even on both sides once it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, and just tack it on all over and, uh, and then we'll move on to the siding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a very fun project to build, probably one of the more tedious projects, especially as far as the siding goes. Um, I might have gotten a little carried away with that. However, I love how it turned out. I couldn't be happier with the finished results, and I think the chickens feel the same way. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on future project videos that we put out. Also, make sure that you like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram so you won't miss out on sneak peeks of those upcoming projects. As always, until next time, be safe and happy building.